Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chris, and today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different than what I normally do on this channel. And that's because you guys requested me to do this. Now I've been uploading videos consistently on this channel for over 14 years. That's a long time and that's a lot of videos. They end up buried in the sands of time, essentially. And people don't see them, and especially if you're a newer subscriber, there's probably a lot of videos you haven't seen, unless you're specifically searching for them. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some older videos and I'm going to start to upload them on the channel. And I figure that Fridays would be the perfect day to do this. A little flashback Friday. I don't know if I'm gonna do it every Friday or every other Friday or maybe once a month Friday, but today I've chosen a video that was originally uploaded in January of 2016. And this was a fun video because we filmed this at a local movie theater here in Syracuse, New York called the Palace Theater. And it's got a lot of history to it. And it's kind of creepy. And that's perfect because the way that I always wanted to make uh, my videos for the vegan zombie from the beginning was a very uh, theatrical kind of cinematic with visual effects and um, you know the illusion that there's zombie that there's a zombie apocalypse leading up to the actual recipe video. Here I enter the building and my friend Jeff who who works there filmed me up to the point where I get to the second floor and at that point you can kind of tell that I had to set up my uh, tripods to do the rest of the video until I get to start cooking uh, the recipe. And this is also uh, one of my favorite recipes. It's a very delicious recipe. I was inspired um, by Indian cuisine and I made a potato spinach uh, curry. Without further ado, here is my chickpea curry at the Palace Theater back in 2016. Cooking with the vegan zombie.
Hey guys, I found this awesome kitchen and it looks kind of familiar, but there are signs of zombies here, so I'm gonna be quick. I did find some ingredients too, and I think I know what I'm gonna make today. As I was coming in, I found some canned goods. Now in a zombie apocalypse, you gotta remember, you don't always have access to those fresh foods, which I do recommend, but the next best thing is canned foods, dehydrated foods, freeze-dried foods. So on the way in, I found some coconut milk, some tomato paste, and some chickpeas. You're probably thinking, what am I gonna make with this? Well. I also have some spices with me, some potatoes, and some fresh spinach. Where did I find the fresh spinach? I don't know. So I'm gonna make you guys an Indian-inspired potato chickpea curry. Let's get started. All right, let's get ready to cook. I don't see any aprons here. We don't wanna get our clothes dirty. So I'm feeling pretty cozy in here. I'm just hoping I don't see any zombies. All right, the first thing we're gonna do for this recipe is we're gonna get some potatoes boiling and we're gonna put our rice on. So I have three medium-sized potatoes and I am just going to dice these into a uh, medium dice, about like that. And we're just gonna boil them until a fork can go through them easily. On the other burner here, we're gonna cook our rice. I got two cups of water, one cup of rice. Now these nonstick skillets are great for fending off zombies and cook with. Okay, the potatoes are nice and tender, so it's time for step two. And I also got the rice going, but I couldn't find a lid, so sometimes you have to compromise in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. I use this for a lid, and the rice is looking pretty good. So we'll set that aside and turn our nonstick skillet to a medium high heat, and this is for the potatoes. I'm gonna put a little bit of refined coconut oil in there. And you have to make sure your utensils are nice and clean when you're in a place that's not dedicated to be zombie free, if you know what I mean. Okay, so that's what it should look like. I'm gonna put a little bit of sea salt in there, cracked black pepper, and we're just gonna let this go. I'm also gonna add half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna use some ground turmeric. I actually like to season the potatoes a little bit before they go in the rest of the mixture. A little bit of paprika. If you have smoked paprika, go with that. And then I have some dried basil leaves and a little bit of cumin. Now this is optional. You don't have to do it. I like to do it. Frank's Red Hot or whatever hot sauce you have, I sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Just a little bit. I don't like it too hot. I do it mainly for that extra bit of flavor. I'm not really into too many spicy dishes. Okay, as you can see, these potatoes are looking great, but more importantly, they smell great and they taste great. I'm gonna hit, heat up a little bit more coconut, refined coconut oil, and another skillet on a medium heat as well. And I got some chickpeas, some nice organic garbanzo beans, also chickpeas, and I've strained them. This video is not for aquafaba, but you can definitely save that liquid and do that. And just gonna put them in here. Now for these chickpeas, I just lightly salted them, put a little bit of pepper, turmeric, and chili powder in there. All right, these chickpeas are ready to go. And we'll just add the potatoes to the chickpeas. And you're gonna want like a bigger pan like this, a bigger skillet or whatever. And now it's time to make the curry. So what I have here is some coconut milk, some canned coconut milk. And as you can see, it's kind of a solid at the top. That's perfect to make vegan whipped cream. But we're not making whipped cream. We're just gonna put this in. So it'll melt, don't worry, just pour it in there. Now we are going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste. How about like that? We're just gonna stir this together, let it reduce a little bit, and we're gonna add our spices to make this a nice, delicious curry. I got a tablespoon of curry powder that I'm just gonna add to that. You can find curry powder at your Asian market or in the international section of your grocery store. And if not, curry powder is basically like a coriander, cumin, turmeric, uh, chili powder. And now I have some fresh baby spinach that I brought with me from the safe house. And it's nice and rinsed. And we're just gonna put this all in there. I know this looks like a lot, but once you cook it, it'll pretty much wither to almost nothing. There we go. And just kinda gently stir this in. It's funny because this looks like a lot of greens, but greens are good for you. I mean, Popeye knew it all along. All right, we're gonna give this a few minutes like this and we are gonna start plating our dinner. 
or lunch, whenever you want to eat it. Now this is completely optional, but my recipe includes one tablespoon of raw agave. All right, check this out. It broke down perfectly. It smells good. It's perfect. It's ready to eat. So I'm going to take a nice spoonful of this jasmine rice. And we're just going to put this right over it, right like that. Potatoes, chickpeas. Mmm, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Can you just look at that? This is a perfectly simple, fast recipe, especially in the zombie apocalypse. These are all ingredients you can have stored away. I don't know about the spinach, but the rest of it at least. This will keep you strong and on your feet to get away from all those zombies. Let's try it out. Oh, I don't have a spoon. Well, I guess we're eating like this tonight. Super size me. I want a little bit of everything. I got some of that potato, chickpea, rice, and spinach. It looks like there's so little on this spoon, but it's a lot. I'm happy with it. It's good. Well, there you have it. A delicious meal that you can make in no time. I hope you like it. I hope you like this video. If you guys want to survive with me, go ahead and subscribe and stay safe. Watch out for zombies and I'll be sure to see you in the future. I'm going to go see if there's any zombies in this place because I want to stay here tonight. Better bring this with me. All right, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know the sound was a little bit off during the, uh, the kitchen scenes, but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys do and you wanna see more of these and you want me to choose some of my favorites from back in the day, let me know in the comments below. That really helps out. Thumbs up the video if you haven't already. It's real quick right there. And if you're not already subscribed, it's free. It doesn't, you know, just click the subscribe button and stay safe, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys next time.